Hello YouTubers, my name is Attila Mate from Blue Sky Photography and uh, today I'd like to talk to you about the DX Optics Pro uh, RAW Converter. Now this is the part 2 of, of the video and um, if you want to see the part 1 of, of this video then you can, uh, you can have a look in my channel or, uh, or else you can just click on the, the link that I will post up here in the screen and uh, that will bring you to the video and uh, you can see the first part of this video maybe you will understand a little bit better what I want to talk about so um, today what I want to talk about um, in, uh, in regards to the DX Optics Pro 10 uh, what I like very much in this software now uh, there are a lot of raw converters as we all know and uh, some of the photographers will prefer one kind of raw converter, the other photographer will uh, prefer the other raw converter. Uh, this is my opinion, in my opinion, sorry, uh, this is the best raw converter. And uh, like I told you in the, in the first video, uh, I, I gave you a few reasons why. Now, I want to give you uh, another few reasons in the second part of the video. Why I think that this raw converter is actually the best raw converter at the market for the value, value for money, for the price. So, um, uh, today we will talk about uh, uh, two very important things, uh, in my opinion. One of the, the very important things is the, the contrast in the pictures. Now, you all know that uh, some lenses, they have very good contrast and micro contrast. Some of the lenses, they don't. Now, uh, in, in uh, RAW converters, uh, not all the time, and actually a very few times you have access to micro contrast, to adjust the micro contrast. Now, this is, uh, this is uh, something in the X Optics Pro 10 where you can adjust the micro contrast. You have actually access to, to, to uh, adjust it. I love it. And as I, will, as I will demonstrate to you, I will see in my computer that uh, uh, what I'm talking about is actually true. Micro contrast is, is giving the, the picture a, a pop, you know, it will, it will be, uh, the picture will be more vibrant, more nice, you know, you will, you will see what I'm talking about. So first thing is micro contrast. Second thing is noise reduction. Now, I have to tell you something. I've, I've uh, used a lot of uh, softwares and raw converters and uh, photo editing softwares in the past. And uh, I did try a lot of noise reduction uh, softwares as well. But I have to tell you, the X Optics Pro 10 is one of the best. I mean, it is the best. You will see, uh, you will see what I'm talking about in my computer. But uh, when, uh, when, we, when we talk about uh, noise reduction, I think that nothing can beat, uh, can beat the X Optics Pro 10. And uh, this software has a has a special uh, uh, algorithm, I would say, is uh, it called the prime. And uh, if you if you uh, use that noise reduction uh, uh, system, then you will you will have some amazing results. Now, I don't want to talk too much about this. I uh, I want to show you that you will see with your own eyes, and then you can decide yourself if uh, if you like it or not. I mean, uh, of course, it's everybody's uh, opinion, it's important if you like other uh, software or, or other raw converter, it's okay. I just want to help you guys to, to get uh, the best software for the money. And uh, I think, in my opinion, this is the best. So let's get into my computer and uh, let's see what I'm talking about and see the results. So let's open up uh, the DX Optics Pro and uh, let's see some pictures <clears throat> i think that uh, we should start with uh, noise reduction first and then we go to micro contrast as you can see on my screen this this picture was made on a seaside you know i i did it on a on a cloudy day a very cloudy day you can see over here and i just showed this picture because this is a very good example of the um, of the noise reduction you know because it's uh, in the clouds you can see a lot of noise as you can see on this side of the screen this is a, a, a magnified uh, uh, one side you see you see this this is the part of the picture which is magnified over here so uh, you can you can move this wherever you like but here on this side you can see very very much the, the effect of the noise reduction so uh, 
like I told you, Dave's Optics Pro it has a special algorithm or, or special, I don't know, special kind of way that they, uh, uh, they, they manage noise reduction. So they call it prime. And you can see over here, this is the prime section of the noise reduction. Now the noise reduction is turned off. If I turn this off, you, you, you can see over here the results. So I turn the noise reduction on and whoops, look at that. The noise is gone completely. As you can see, now I will uh, I will zoom into the picture. You know, I will zoom in. Look at this. This is ridiculously good, I tell you. I switch off noise reduction. There you go. And I switch on noise reduction. There you go. Now, all this is done without without any work, just with a click. You know, this this is very very good, I tell you. And what is very good in this uh, noise reduction that the details of the picture are uh, intact. Actually, they are, the details of the picture is not affected at all. I mean, you have all the details because usually uh, most of the, the softwares, how they will manage uh, noise reduction, they will they will soften a little bit the picture. So you won't really have the details after noise reduction. Now that's not a problem with Dave. So. As you can see over here, the details are still there intact. It's no problem at all. Now, let's see another picture. This is again uh, very noisy. As you can see, it was done with ISO 4000 and it is noisy. It is very noisy. Look at that. A lot of noise. Now, let's just switch on noise reduction. Oops, look at this. I mean, this is ridiculously good, I tell you. For uh, compared, you know, with other other softs, I think this is this this is doing a hell of a good job. So, I think that uh, this is very easy and uh, easy to use, and it's very effective. So, I think uh, that this is the best on the market for what you can get uh, for your money, you know. And that's why I wanted to share this with you. Uh, this the. Um, this noise reduction section has actually the second part here. This is the another type of noise reduction, but this is effective as well. But it's not as good as the prime. You know, the prime is is, is better, I'd say, and uh, it's more effective. So, uh, but you can try yourself and you can just play around and you can see what's going on. Now, uh, let's move further to the to the micro contrast. Now, micro contrast, I tell you. It is very important in the picture because it will bring up the small details in the picture. And that's why the picture look very poppy, very uh, pleasing to the eye. So uh, uh, I like very much to, uh, to have access to micro contrast because some of the lenses you are using, they don't have the ability to give, uh, to give back a lot of micro contrast. So uh, it's, it's, a good, uh, it's a very good thing to have access to micro contrast. Now, if you have a look at this picture, this was on a sunny day and uh, it was at the castle you know and, and, and it, this picture is fine no problem but i will bring up a little bit the micro contrast in the picture just to, to to see the difference what i'm talking about so we switch on the contrast here and this is the micro contrast section now a lot of uh, a lot of softs you know they don't have this at all they have only the contrast they don't have the micro contrast now this, let's let's bring it up the micro contrast a little bit. Just have a look. Mostly you can see the effect on the sky. So if you have a look in the sky, just look at that. Look at that difference. I mean, everywhere in the picture, not only uh, not only on the sky, everywhere. But you can see much better in the sky the results. Look at that difference. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This, this, will, this will give a new look to your picture, I tell you. It is very, very good. I like very much. Now, let's take another example. Look at this picture. This was again a very cloudy day, like on the beach. This was uh, in, in Dublin at the castle, Malahite Castle. It's a very nice castle. It's a nice, a nice park, you know, and uh, it's, it's good. Now, let's see again the, the micro contrast in the, the effect of the micro contrast in the picture. Now, if I bring this up, look at the sky, look at the difference. The sky looks completely different. 
this is what this is what I was talking about. I mean, I think if you, if you have a look at this guy, it's okay, it's not bad, it's it's uh, exposed properly, but it's not so pleasing, it's not so dramatic. But if I bring this up, look at this, it's much more dramatic. The sky is much more dramatic. Even in the castle, if you have a look in the castle now, and I bring this down, you see all these details over here, they are gone. If I bring it up, you see all these details over here. Look at this. You can see every single detail over here, you know. If I bring down micro contrast, that will disappear. Did you see that? So I think that to have a nice and, and uh, pleasing to the eye picture, micro contrast is helping a lot. Now, I like very much. I, I use, I use, I, I adjust micro contrast in almost all of my pictures, and um, except except portraits. Now, portraits is not really advisable to uh, adjust micro contrast. It's actually better to pull it down because if the person has wrinkles, especially uh, uh, ladies, you know, if they have wrinkles and and that micro contrast will bring them up. So it's not a, it's not the best idea to uh, to, to do this on portraits. But uh, in some cases, when you want to do some dramatic portrait, you know, that's kind of artistic work, then it's, it's good to use it. But as the normal portrait, it's not really advisable to use it. But other than that, with landscapes or, or uh, cityscapes or whatever you want, it's exceptional. I mean, it's very good. If you have a look at the effect, I can tell you that this is very good. Now, roughly, if I... If I uh, Look at this. This is the clear view, and I am talking about. I, I was talking about this clear view in the first part of this video. If you want, to, you can just have a look and, and watch it. I tell you all together. If I if I switch these on, you know, everything. I just don't do anything. Just switch these on, and the difference is is. Uh, oh, sorry. This is not. So the difference is is just ridiculously good, you know. This, this was the original picture. Now the picture was obviously underexposed. I underexposed this picture with a reason because I wanted to do a HDR picture of this and uh, I needed, you know, the underexposed, uh, you know, it's uh, five pictures uh, and then merged together. So this, this is one of them. But I just wanted to show you, you know, what you can do from a picture. Look at that. This is the Xoflix Pro, I tell you. It is ridiculously good. But if we if we go back to micro contrast, you know, it's in any picture, even if the picture is, is well exposed, you know, micro contrast is helping a lot. And even come back here, you know, on this side and I just bring up the micro contrast. Look at that. Look at the sky. What a difference. Look. You can see. It, it gives it gives to the picture a different look. A different look, yeah. Well, um, that's all I wanted to show you, and uh, I hope that you like it, and I hope uh, it will help you. If you like, um, download the X Optics Pro from uh, from the XO site, and you can try for 30 days, you know, and uh, you can use it. And then, if you don't like it, you don't have to purchase it. If you like it, you purchase it. And uh, I like it. I think that's a, that's a very good, actually 70% of my work uh, I do on this software and uh, I really like it. And I think that uh, it's actually actually an excellent software for the money, you know, it's, it's very, very good. And uh, it's uh, together with Zoner Photo Studio, they, they create an unbeatable combo, I can tell you. And, um, I hope that it, it was helpful to you and uh, I hope that you uh, enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe and uh, share my videos. And have a nice day. See you later.